What's that one? What? The one there on your arm. Oh, that's a tattoo I had it removed. <laughs> Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Mother! <laughs> Mr. Hooper, this is USS Indianapolis. You were on the Indianapolis. What's happened? Japanese submarine slammed two torpedoes into a side chief. We were coming back from the island of Lady and Delacy. Just delivered the bomb. The Hiroshima bomb. 1,100 men went into the water. The vessel went down in 12 minutes. Didn't see the first shark for half an hour. Tiger. 13 footer. You know, you know how you tell chief is when you're in the water, you judge by the dorsal to the tail. What we didn't know is our mission had been so secret, no distress signal had been sent. They didn't even list us overdue for a week. Very first light chief. Sharks come cruising. So we formed a tight pack. The shark would come for the first man and it'd start hollering and kicking and screaming. And sometimes the shark would go away. Other times it wouldn't go away. Sometimes the shark, he just stares right into you. You know, the thing about a shark, he's got lifeless eyes. And black eyes like a dog's eyes. He doesn't seem to be living until he bites you. And his black eyes roll over white and the ocean turns red. Oh, then you hear that horrible high pitch screaming. And despite all the hollering and kicking, they come in and they rip you apart. How about the end of that first dawn? We lost a hundred men. I don't know how many sharks, maybe a thousand. I don't know how many men. Average six an hour. Thursday morning, Chief, I ran into a friend of mine, Herbie Robertson from Cleveland. Baseball player, Bosun's mate. Well, I thought he was asleep, so I reached over and he hopped up and down like some sort of a top. Upended. Well. He'd been bitten in half the way to the west. Then the fifth day, Mr. Hooper. They got Lockheed Ventura coming low and he saw us, he'd come in low and he was a young pilot anyway, a lot younger than Mr. Hooper here, but he come in and about three hours later, the old fat PBY come in, start picking us up. You know, that's the moment I was most afraid. Waiting for my turn. I'll never put on a life jacket again. So, 1,100 men went into the water. 319 got out. Sharks took the rest. June 29th, 1945. Anyway, we delivered the bomb. <laughs>